Now, I'm not a scientist and I have no credentials whatsoever. From my understanding of the Big Bang Theory, the Big Bang Theory explains how the universe expanded from a single point. The Big Bang occurred 13.7 to 14 billion years ago. All the matter, energy, and light were all compacted into an infinitely dense point. The universe then expanded tremendously. As the seconds passed, this condensed energy was spread out, and all the forces such as gravity came into existence. Around 300,000 years after the Big Bang occurred, the universe was abundant with floating particles. These particles then slowly came to each other. The most simplest elements came into existence. Most found was hydrogen with one proton and helium with two protons. The different atoms were able to form and then these particles became more and more condensed. Soon matter was formed. The early stars were made up of very simple elements so they had very short lifespans of only millions of years. But the nuclear fusion in the cores of these early stars slowly created heavy elements. Which, when the stars died, would become part of a new star. These stars were created in small groups and attracted other stars. These stars were grouped in irregular shapes. Then the different shapes merged to form the first galaxies. Then, as more galaxies formed, they became grouped into galaxy clusters. And then these clusters were contained into superclusters. Today, scientists knew about a force called dark energy. Dark energy acts like an anti-gravity and does the opposite of gravity. Dark energy is currently the cause of the expansion of the universe. The universe is expanding at an accelerating rate today. With the discovery of dark energy, many scientists now believe that the universe will continue to expand forever and all of the matter and energy in the universe will eventually decay within a trillion years. Many people believe that something cannot come from nothing, and in order for something to come from nothing, it must involve divine intervention. Now, according to quantum theory, something can come from nothing. The explanation of why that happens has not yet been formed. And it happens all the time, and it can be demonstrated experimentally. Vertical particles come into existence spontaneously. They don't last, but during their brief existence, they have measurable effects. But it is admittedly a bit of a stretch to compare the appearance of an electron with the mass of the universe. Still, the Big Bang Theory explains a lot of things that are otherwise unexplainable. Quoted from Stephen Hawking's book, A Brief History of Time.